Hello D reviewers, and welcome once more to the break. Before we get started, hit the like and subscribe button and we will be on our way. In today's episode, Prince Harry was supposedly fixated on sibling Prince William hoarding things he thought he additionally merited, with a royal master likewise asserting that he was an exceptionally irate man. Tina Brown of Vanity Fair, who additionally wrote the palace papers, has said that Prince Harry's steady disappointment with William made his ex Cressida Bonas propose proficient treatment to him. Citing a source near the royal sibling, Brown expressed they would settle on domains that they would work in and afterward William would feel that his sibling was breaking the understanding. As a matter of fact, some of Harry and William's most serious competitions was over William apparently hoarding the best briefs. According to Harry's perspective, William was just hoarding the best briefs, a companion of the two of them told me. The more youthful prince appeared to be not to have gotten the reminder that the future lord would continuously get the juiciest supports, Brown shared. Brown likewise asserted in her book that, when Prince Harry wasn't fixating on William, he was groaning about his dad, Prince Charles to Cressida. She additionally cited a companion of both Harry and William saying, Harry was an extremely, irate man. I think those were totally Olympic lines. In other news, subsequent to venturing down from their royal obligations in 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle set up another life for themselves in California. The pair put in a couple of months in Los Angeles prior to buying a nine-room, 16-restroom chateau in Santa Barbara for $14.65 million per page six. The two of them love California, and Santa Barbara has a wizardry to it, the mountains, seas, great plantations, blossoms, cultivates, a source told People. For Harry and Meghan, it was the ideal spot to settle down with their child, Archie, as well as their little girl, Lilibet Diana, who showed up short of what one year after the move. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex likewise got to deal with turning out to be monetarily free. They marked a three-year podcasting managed Spotify for an expected $15 million to $18 million, as well as a five-year managed Netflix that is purportedly worth $100 million, per Yahoo. While his relationship with the royal family, especially Prince Charles and Prince William, has purportedly been stressed, Harry uncovered to Hoda Kotb that he has changed well to life in the United States. Home for me currently is, you know, for now, it's in the States. What's more, it has that impression too, he said, by means of today. He added that he and Meghan were greeted wholeheartedly, and we have such an incredible local area up in Santa Barbara. As indicated by another book, however, leaving the royal family obviously hasn't been all around as simple as Harry and Meghan anticipated that it should be. If you made it to the end of the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, it helps the channel. 